Good morning, I'm in San Cristobal. It is the day after Christmas and I'm about to get a stick and poke tattoo. Now you're probably wondering, what the hell Kurt? Why are you getting a tattoo? Well, oh, check out that dog. Don't jump down please. Please don't jump down. <laughs> um, why are you getting a tattoo? Well, I've been wanting to get a special tattoo for a long time now. And um, when I was in San Jose del Pacifico, I met this couple and I started speaking to the guy and um, yeah we chatted a little bit they were cool and then we parted ways a couple days later when I was in Oaxaca City in the bus station I saw the same people and uh, I started chatting with him and he mentioned that he does stick and poke tattoos and I was like man that's crazy because I want to get a tattoo and um, so then we chat a little bit and then we got in the bus and we went to San Cristobal. When I arrived in San Cristobal, I ended up in some coffee shop and uh, voila, I see the same dude again. And this time I'm like, yeah, man, let's, uh, let's do the tattoo, you know? I'm, I'm thinking, damn, this is, uh, I got to get this tattoo. Well, here I am. I'm outside their house and uh, I'm about to get a stick and poke tattoo. And uh, it's a very important tattoo for me. Um, I don't have any other tattoos, I have a small one on my foot. Check it out. That I got when I was a kid, when I was like 12 years old. My brother did for me. Um, other than that, this will be my first, first proper tattoo experience. Well, that was a proper tattoo experience, but a, a serious one that's going to last a couple hours. So, see you guys there. What are you doing now? Just making the stencil? Yeah, just making Tra the stencil tracing now. Tracing it, huh? Tracing your beautiful handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible handwriting, man. I, I write like a kid. <laughs> they never gave you a pen when you were in school, did they? No, let it, write, it, let it write in the sand, man. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to sit or lie down? It's better if you stand up because yeah, uh, you can do it. that's when your posture is the most straight. So you guys are probably wondering, why the hell am I getting a tattoo? Like, I mean, why? Um, well, <clears throat> this tattoo means a lot to me and uh, I've been wanting to get it for a long time and um, I'd rather get it like this, you know, there's a, a connection um, rather than in a random tattoo shop where it takes like five minutes and the guy just does it and he, that's it, you know? Um, so yeah. Now we give you the full treatment here. We give you chai, we have you some chai. weed, <laughs> we got some alcohol, some brandy. Straight up, straight up. Got some good company. Got some good music. <laughs> here goes the ink. Would, would that be all the ink for the whole process? Uh, Pretty much? Most likely, yeah. yeah? You well, don't need a lot at all. Yeah. At all. So in South Africa, we call this type of tattoos stick and poke. We call it prison tattoos, chappies. Um, is what the gangsters um, in South Africa get. Um, it's a big culture there. Um, so it's quite cool. I'm, uh, I'm excited. The one I got on my leg is a chappie. We call that a chappie. <laughs> if you guys know the food. All right, guys, this is it. Oh, sorry, man. That's all right. Judgment day. Judgment day is coming. <laughs> That's it? Yep. That's not painful. Uh, give it an hour. When I go over the same spot, it's gonna hurt again. Yeah, that I can imagine. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. But, um, so like, with stick and poke, you don't have to go um, as far deep as a needle. So like, um, with a machine tattoo, it fucking, sometimes it feels like this guy is just dragging a hot knife across your body. Yeah. And he doesn't care how deep he goes. <clears throat> well, the one that I got on my foot. Yeah. Felt like fire. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really painful spot to get a tattoo to, bro. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. I hated mine that I got there. It's not too bad. Um, it feels like you're getting hair plucked out of your back, that's all. Yeah, but yeah, pretty much, man. And like the reason why I have to flick is so that like I don't have to go so deep. Yeah. So I push the the ink into into between the layers. So like, so like 
There's more layers of the skin, but imagine this is the three layers of the skin. Okay. I go down like this, and then I flick it, so I down and put the ink in, in that. Oh, uh, like to the, under the skin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So I push it into the layer. It's just the O that will take the longest, because to make a perfect circle with stick and poke is a bitch. Yeah. Doesn't have to be perfect, man. It will be there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good that you're not at a beach or anything like this too, because you Isn't won't be able to swim. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, I've given tattoos to people on the beach because obviously, you know, like they're on a holiday. Yeah, yeah. They want a tattoo. Yeah. Something different. Yeah. And then after the tattoo, I'm like, okay, guys, you cannot, like, uh, try and not to like, swim for, like, like... what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I'm at the beach, I can't swim. What the fuck? I have to stay out the sun, yeah. I can't sunbathe. It's like, well, yeah, you, j you just got a fresh <laughs> tattoo, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, I've been wanting to... I've been wanting to get this tattoo for a long time. Nice, man. I really like the words. Thank you. Um, it's, uh, the words... <clears throat> The words come from my father, uh -huh. who recently uh, passed away this year. Oh man, I'm fucking. I'm very sorry to hear that. Uh, of can thank you, and uh, of cancer. And uh, while he was fighting cancer, he uh, he said that, and um, it stuck with me, you know. Wow, man! Thanks for letting me do it, bro. Thank you for doing it. <laughs> What was your dad like? Because he, um, you and him had a cl close relationship when when um, you he were growing was, uh, up. He was the best person I knew. He's my best friend, man. Wow, man. It's like plucking, huh? Uh huh. Wow. Yeah, there's um, I met some tattoo artists in in Zipolite. Yeah. And uh, fuck, the way they tattoo is so different to really? the way um, I you learned. Do? Okay. Where did you learn tattooing? Uh, on myself. <laughs> okay. So, but um, but did someone teach you, or did you watch someone, or? It was uh, it was a bit of both. Like um, well, I always tattooed when I was younger, like you know, in, in class with like a sewing pin. Yeah. And like my fucking pen from my uh, ink from my pen and shit. On yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Um, but um, when I was in India. I've been doing this professionally for like a year now. Okay. Um, and when I was in India, I met this guy. His name's Edgar. He's, he's Mexican. And he's a maestro, bro. I'll show you some of his work. Um, expensive, but like fucking immaculate yeah. work. Everything oh. he does is just perfect. And um, I went, uh, so I separated ways from him a little bit. I went to a beach to the south of India. And then um, my one of the guys that I just met wanted to get a drawing that I did tattooed on him, but I didn't have any uh, machine or I didn't have like yeah. the tools. So um, he got someone else. He asked if he can get like a like a person to do it, and I was like, "Yeah, man, go ahead, do it." Um, and then she looked at my book and was like, "Wow, man, you should like start tattooing. You can make some money when you travel." Yeah. So she gave me a a, a needle, and she gave me one thing of ink like this, and one needle. So she gave me this and this, and, and then and then I I made this. The, oh, nice. the, the, the first heart. one, yeah. yeah, the first one. And then um, when I started it, the Mexican guy Edgar, yeah, I was doing it all <clears> wrong. Um, and the 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 guy that I left like a week ago, two weeks ago, comes and stay at my hostel, and I didn't speak to him, no nothing. He just showed up randomly, and I just put my first dot inside my body. Yeah. And then he comes over, he sits next to me, and he tells me about how the skin works, and oh. how to tattoo, where to stretch. That's crazy. Why, like, you, why you need to lubricate it and shit. Yeah, yeah. So I was very, very lucky with that. Oh, that's crazy, man. Yeah. Coincidence. Very no, coincidence. not coincidence. No. No, man. It's, uh, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. But, um, yeah, and I was running out of money, too. Uh, I, I had, like, $50 yeah. left in India. And I had no way of making money, so I was fucked. And then uh, I used my money to to buy some needles and to buy some ink. And then I just started tattooing, tattooing. Sweet man, like your friends and shit. And then they were just like, yeah, myself and then yeah. my friends and then their friends. Uh, and then it just started going around. Yeah, eh? and then people started messaging Fuck me on yeah, Instagram. Man. Hey, uh, I hope, 
I hope that uh, after this video you get some get some messages, man. Thanks, man. I really uh, fucking appreciate that. Uh, hopefully, some people that are in Mexico. Are you, are you gonna? How long are you planning to stay in Mexico for? Uh it all depends, brother. Like, um, Mexico is quite expensive. Yeah. So it depends on the situation. Depends like on COVID. And A month, stuff like two that. months. What would you say? Oh, my visa finishes in in April. Okay. Uh, so I you can you can't stay until April. I can stay until April. Yeah. Is this on? Yeah, it's filming. All right, guys. So how many layers have you done now? I've done two, two and a half layers. Two and a half? Okay. Yeah. How many more do you have to go? Uh, maybe one and a half more. One and a half? With the O, I'll do another layer All right. to make it perfect. So check it out, guys. What do you think? That's it so far. Um, I think it looks fucking cool. Clean, clean, clean. Clean, clean, clean. Let's go for it. The next, yeah, next session. Whew. All right. Can you guys hear that plucking sound? You can probably pick it up on the mic. I can make it louder if you want. <laughs> Go deeper and make no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> you just carry on now. You were doing it, man. <laughs> there we go. Pluck. You started drawing, right? First. Like, that was your thing first, right? Yeah, yeah. Drawing, drawing making designs. And, and painting murals. Okay. Yeah, I think I saw some of that on your Instagram. Yeah, it's just like, I know me at first, I just started to paint for free places to stay. Yeah. And then, you know, people at the hostel started asking for for tattoos yeah and then it just escalated huh yeah i had no money <laughs> yeah yeah stuck in india with 50 dollars and and some needles and some ink awesome man now i'm in mexico <clears throat> i hope uh i hope it kicks off properly eventually so that you can make some good good bucks with it man and just do it full time you know thank would you, you man. would you like that full time absolutely yeah? this is what i love doing so you you would do it like the whole day right like work oh yeah all day can you can you just explain that again man yeah, so we're using a a, a nine uh, round shader, and basically there's nine needles there, really really small ones that are grouped together like a hand. But there's nine, obviously I've got five fingers, um, and the ink gets held into the middle, so it punctures around the outside, and you flick, and the ink that gets stored on the inside enters the skin. Wow. Yeah, the reason why the 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 ink. Uh, gets bolder in your skin is because it's like watercolor right when it goes into your skin but mm. it it forms like a wall yeah um inside your skin like a carbon wall so that the ink doesn't bleed any further so as uh -huh. it dries inside your skin it stops like it's, a barrier yeah well wow. like, exactly so it stops it from spreading uh-huh so we done huh yeah Yee -hoo! It's All right. Clean, it's done. Uh, maybe want to just uh, get that on the camera real quick, and then yeah, 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 maybe yeah. just a photo with the phone. Uh huh. Wow, it looks nice and dark as well. Yeah. It's Fuck fine. yeah. Fuck yeah. Is it on? Yeah, it's funny. Oh, that is last. Yeah. Awesome, Beautiful. Mm. Thank you so much, man. Thank uh, you, man. Really appreciate it, dude. I'm just just. Uh, Turn off the camera. Um, <clears throat> crazy music going off in the background. Some kids playing around in the street there. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. See you next time. Ciao. I'm, I'm, I'm super happy with the whole, whole experience. I'm super happy with the tattoo. Awesome people. Um, it is amazing. I'm, I'm beyond stoked. So uh, on that note, see you guys. Ciao.